Hello. Hello. Hi, Jorge, William, Karen. Claudia, hi. <laughs> Vanessa. Hi. Good night, good evening. Vladimir, good evening, Alejandro. Luis, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Vamos night. a esperar unos dos segunditos para que se nos unan los demás. Right? And then we continue. How are you today, people? Good? Bad? So-so? How are you? Fine. Good. Good. Okay, very good. ¿Qué dicen cuando les dicen mal? Yo no hay que decir que no mal. No hay que decir. No sé qué responder cuando me dicen eso. Okay. A los salvadoreños, ni modo. <ríe> ni modo, exacto. No hay nada que hacerles. Right. <ríe> ok, so we're going to start with today's class. Right? In today's class, we're going to take two, three minutes to work with the people that had problems yesterday, right? El, ayer hablamos eh, sobre la plataforma que vamos a utilizar por los que no estuvieron ayer. Vamos a tomar dos, mil, dos tres minutitos para esto. Hablamos de las plataformas que vamos a utilizar, WhatsApp, Zoom y la plataforma de la, de la institución, de inglés corporativo. Eh, Claudia Alvarado, Mar Alvarado, eh, Sonia Quintanilla y Karen Ramírez se reportó su caso que no podían acceder al WhatsApp eh, con administración ¿Se, pudi se, se pudieron comunicar con ustedes no no se comunicaron con ustedes no pero no recibí ninguna llamada oh, ok ok entonces voy a tratar de que, de que uh, vamos a hacer push uh, para que mañana se comuniquen con ustedes y si no eh, me van a tener que dejar, le voy a dejar aquí en el chat su número, su número, mi número, <ríe> mi número, eh, para que me manden un mensaje directo con su número de teléfono y yo se los mando a, a, a los chicos de administración para que los agreguen, ¿ok? Yo se los envío por ahí para que lo tengan. Okay. Luego tenía alguien que Samuel Villalta no, tiene, no tenía acceso a la plataforma. It's Samuel here, Samuel? No, right? No lo miro, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. No, no está Samuel. Ok. ¿Todos pudieron acceder a la plataforma sin ningún problema? Sí. Yes. Y se apresaron yes, todas las plantas yes. y las cosas que les habían sobrevendido. Uh, I'm sorry. Ok. Eh, entonces, si todos pudimos acceder a la plataforma, muy bien, solo con los que tenemos problemas, lo vamos a resolver después. Eh, otro grupo tenía problemas que no tiene computadora o con la computadora no carga por el internet. Recuérdense siempre que si tienen un teléfono Android, pueden descargar la app de la, de la institución. Entonces, ahí sin ningún problema descargan la app y creo que sale mucho mejor, porque la pueden ver desde su teléfono, trabajar ahí bien tranquilos y, y lo hacen súper rápido. Y si no, eh, si no tienen Android, pueden hacerlo desde un iPhone sin ningún problema. Right? Eh, para, la, para los dos personas, los dos software, tenemos ahí eh, la app que ustedes pueden utilizar y pueden tener acceso a su información okay, de la plataforma. Samuel, veo que ya se conectó. Samuel Villalta, ¿se pudo conectar con la plataforma? Le, ¿Lo contactaron? Ya me conecté. Ya se conectó, ok. Chivísimo. So, we are going to start with the class. Eh, les iba a decir también, ayer utilizamos bastante español en la clase. 
Cada día voy a tratar de utilizar menos español so we can practice more and more and more, right? Entonces ustedes me pueden preguntar, eh, yo voy a tratar de responderles siempre en inglés y si no entendemos aún vamos a seguir practicando con inglés. Pero quiero que ya se vayan metiendo ese set en la cabecita de inglés, 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 as much as we can, ¿ok? Entonces somos principiantes, pero I know you can do it, right? Ok, perfect. So, yesterday we were practicing with the months of the year, right? So here I have a lot of people today. So I need you to practice with me. I need you to practice with me. Let's see, Alejandro, are you here, Alejandro? Yes. Okay, very good. I will select some months of the year and you tell me the pronunciation, okay? So I have number one is? January. January, okay, very good. Number two? February. Okay, number three? March. Okay, good. Vladimir? Yeah, April. April, okay, very good. April, very good. Let's continue. Um, May. 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 Very good. And? June. 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 Very June. good. Aquí no pronunciamos, we do not pronounce the E. Right? June. Just like that. Right? June. Very oh. good. Let's continue there, William. July. July. August. August, very good. September. September. October. October. And then we have another person, Mario. October. Mario Alvarado, are you there? Mario. October. <laughs> October. November. November and? December. December, very good. We need to practice with all the months, right? Practice as much as you can. Tenemos que pronunciar eh, y practicar eh, todos los meses. First one, remember, is January. January, right? Z January. Then we have uh, this one, May. Es bien cortito, pero es bien difícil. It's very short, but it's difficult. May, May. Then we have with this one, June. Recuerden, esta letra, la última, no la pronunciamos. Hagamos de cuenta y caso que no existe. Está ahí, pero no está ahí. Right? Como el meme. Okay, so we say June. Right? June. Then we continue. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And yesterday, what was the other topic that we practiced yesterday? Josue? We saw the months and what else? So los meses vimos. ¿Qué más vimos ayer? Ordinal numbers. Okay, very good. We saw the ordinal numbers. Very good. Very good. So we're going to start with the ordinal numbers, right? Let's see here. I'm going to work with Clarissa. Hi, Clarissa. Hi. I will, I will have Clarissa, then Claudia, and Felix. Okay, Clarissa, you go with this right please let's see let's listen to your pronunciation okay first mm -hmm. second third fourth fifth sixth seventh mm -hmm. eight nine nine ten. Uh -huh. and ten very good now let's continue ¿Quién era la siguiente? Mencioné tres personas. Claudia. Uh -huh. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Uh -huh. Thirteen. 
13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 17. 18. Uh -huh. 19. 12. 20. 20. Ok. 20. Uh, Carolina, eh, Claudia, sorry, no se olvide esta pronunciación. TH. Right? TH. Esto es bien importante. 18th, 19th, 20th. And then Felix. Felix, you go from here Twen to here. 21st, mm -hmm. 20, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. 25th. 20, 25th. Mm -hmm. And then? 25th. Okay, very good. And then Mr. Cruz, let's go. From here to here. 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. 31st, very good. Ok, cuando estamos, una cosa que tenemos que hacer cuando estamos practicando. Ustedes escuchan que solo una persona está hablando. Por ejemplo, Félix está hablando y todos los demás. ¿Cuál es el trabajo de todos los demás? El trabajo de todos los demás es escuchar para ver cómo se puede mejorar. ¿Será que él lo está diciendo mejor que yo o será que yo he practicado un poquito más? ¿Verdad? Es como... Ustedes van a ser como otros teachers. ¿Quién quita ahí en el futuro ustedes en clase de inglés? So you have to listen, right? Tienen que escuchar muy bien si dice mm, first or first. Which one is correct? First or first? ¿Cuál es la correcta? First. First, first. first. very good. First. first, exacto. Pero si ustedes escuchan a su compañerito o compañerita que dice first, Ustedes están calladitos al otro lado de la pantalla como, oh, mm -mm, no se dice sí, it's not correct, right? Pero ustedes saben cómo es la forma correcta, okay? Entonces, mientras unos practican speaking, los otros estamos practicando listening, right? Listening. Y así aprovechamos que, yes? Puede repetir la de third tip. Es que se me cuesta siempre. Ok. Just to make sure uh, you're talking about this one, right? 30th. Esta, correcto? This yes. one? 30th. Okay. Right. Practiquemos este número, solo este. 30. 30. 30. Mm -hmm. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Then, 30. vamos a agregarle la parte difícil. When you have 30, 30, 30, 30, right? 30. Very good. Ahora, we're going to add the most difficult part. This one, right? 30th. 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 Very good. 30th. 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 Very good. So you see, primero practicamos lo más fácil, right? 30, and then 30th. 30. 20, 20th. 20th. Right? 30. Okay. Very good. You're welcome. Very good. Siempre practiquemos así el más fácil al inicio and then the difficult one. Very good. So then we have the practice. I need you to work with this, right? When is your birthday? What was the formula that we saw in the video yesterday for the birthday, Boris? What is the formula for the birthday? We have subject, special, mm -hmm. special uh, okay, a special what? Uh, a special day, uh -huh. birth to be, birth to be, um, preposition on, uh -huh. month, and date. And date. Okay, very good. Let's see. We have a special day plus birth to be plus on plus month and date. Okay, very good. So we need to remember. Vamos a darle dos, tres minutitos a esto. Porque después lo vamos a utilizar. 
Uh, let's see, Miss, Miss Carla Morales. Carla Morales. When is Valentine's Day, Carla? Mm. Carla, hello. No? Margarita? Oh, Valentine's Day. Okay, yes. When when is Valentine's Day? February. Okay, what is the special day? Let's let's follow the formula. Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. It's February. It's February. For 14th, I think. Okay. Very good. ¿Qué nos falta ahí? What is missing? On. Um, preposition on. The preposition on. Very good. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Very good. Siempre tenemos que recordarnos de la fórmula, right? Entonces vamos a ver acá. Eh, let's see, Marielos. Marielos Ferrer. Sure. Marielos. When is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on May. Uh -huh. Mother's Day is on May. May 10th. 10th. Very good. Very good. Now, when is Christmas? Eve in El Salvador, Margarita. Christmas Eve. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Christmas Day in El Salvador is December 24. Uh -huh. Is on on twenty fourth on December twenty fourth. Okay. Look at this. I'm asking for Christmas Eve in El Salvador, right? Or Christmas in El Salvador. It's not like in the U.S., right? In the U.S. is different. When is Christmas in the U.S., Mario? Christmas Day. In US is on December twenty five. Okay, this is December twenty. How does twenty five? Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Very good. Remember here, right? Twenty fifth. This part, right? Twenty fifth. Very good. So. We have more days in El Salvador. Tell me more holidays, Madia Festivos, more <laughs> holidays. For example, in El Salvador, we have... Um, Father's Day. Father's Day, okay. Ah, como ya viene cerca, ¿verdad? Father's Day. <laughs> Andan pensando que va a regalar. Father's Day, okay, another one. Viernes Santos. Okay, Viernes Santos. How do we say Viernes Santos in English? Holy How Friday. Holy Friday. I think it has another name, but I don't remember. Holiday or Friday. It's Friday, Holy Friday. Let me see. I'm just gonna ask some. Holy Friday. Cuando no sabemos, saben que hacemos. No I'm gonna go here because we don't know how to say, how to say, how do you say? Viernes Santo in English. Any que pasa? We say Holy Friday. Very good. Holy Friday. Okay, another one. El 2 de noviembre. Second of November. Okay, how do we say that in, in English? All Saints Day. 
Día de Todos los Santos. Right? All Saints Day. All Saints Day. Día de Todos los Santos. That's not Halloween. Halloween is different. Halloween is on October 31st. Yeah. Right? It's different. Another one. Teacher Day. Day. Uh -huh. Teacher's, Teacher's Day. Day. Okay, Teacher's Day. El Día de las Tazas. Okay, Teacher's Day. Okay, very good. One more. One more. Children's Day. Children's Work. Work days. Children's Day. Children's Day. And work day is, in English, you say labor. Labor day. No decimos work, decimos labor. Okay. So, when are these days? Father's Day. I'm going to pick up some people. Vamos a decir los nombres, vamos a estar todos atentos. Vladimir Rodas, the first one, Father's Day. Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Holy Friday. Friday. Father's Day is on? Um, Father's Day is on 15? No, it is. You're not a father. Um, <laughs> no, no soy papá. Pero que, no me acuerdo la fecha. <laughs> but what is the June. formula? Okay. Remember, we're going to follow this. Okay? Um, voy a copiar eso. We're going to copy and paste this. Right? I need you to, to follow this part. Okay? Esa es la fórmula. No se olviden. So Father's Day? Uh, Father's Day is on June 15. June 15. Okay. Is that correct? Is no. that correct? No. It's June 17. No. No. June 17. June 17. Very good. Very good. Holy okay. Friday. Teacher, and the question usar el is es correcto porque no está en la fórmula. En la pregunta sí, en la pregunta sí, ¿se recuerda en el video que vimos ayer? Decía, when is Independence Day? Right? Yes. So we just change for the question. That's a, that's a good question, actually. We have when plus birth to be plus a special day. That's it. That's a formula. Look. When plus birth to be plus a special day, right? So that's what we have here. When is Father's Day in El Salvador, right? So when is Holy Friday, Marielos? Holy Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Friday. That's difficult. This is not difficult. ¿Quién dijo esa? Esa está difícil porque no hay una fecha. Varían las fechas en el año. Yeah. Um, March. Let's, March. let's, let's invent. Uh -huh. Is on March? Or April? Is on, let, let's invent. Vamos a inventar una fecha. Is on March? March uh, 11th. March 11th. Uy, el día que comenzó la cuarentena. Is on March 11th. Right? Ok. Esa es un invento. All Saints Day, William. Uh, All Saints Day is on November 2nd. November 2nd. Very good. Thank you. Okay. And let's see here. Vane Peña. Teacher's Day. Vane. Vane. Teacher's Day. Is on June 22nd. 22nd, very good. Very good. Children's Day. Um, let's see here. Mayra. Huh? 
Mayra. Hola, buenas noches. Ah, se va a dormir. El children's Day is. <risa> Ay, teacher. Este. No recuerdo cómo se dice primero. <risa> Look, we have the formula here on the TV, on the computer, on the screen. A special day plus birth to be plus on plus month plus day. So a special day is children, right? Birth to be is. So children day is. Is when? On October 1st. Is on? October 1st. October 1st, no, October 1st. First. first. First, okay, very good. First, very good. Lace, Labor Day, right, or Labor's Day, Luis, Luis Ramirez. Labor's Day? Día del Trabajo? Luis, are you there? Luis? Is he sleeping? Luis? Fernando? Hi. Hi, Fernando. Labor, Labor Day is on May 1st. May 1st. Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Yes, very good. Very good. Tenemos que estar atentos. Todos. Okay, very good. We're going to say this. Okay, so, do you have a question about this? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta de cómo se dicen las fechas? Fechas importantes, holidays y todas? No. Any questions? No. No? No. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we are going to move to another topic. Okay. Then... okay. Don't forget to put your microphones. Sí, pongamos el micrófono, por favor. Please off. Okay, pongamos el micrófono. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, we have we're going to move to the next topic. Right? The next topic is going to. Right? It's a topic about grammar. Pero no quiero que se aflijan. Todo el mundo le tiene miedo al grammar y vienen qué bonito es. Right? So, don't worry. We're going to make it easy. Vamos a ver pedacitos de grammar para que lo entendamos, right? So, we're going to watch a video. Vamos a hacer lo mismo de ayer. Les voy a poner el video y quiero que me digan si lo escuchan o no. Okay. Los primeros segunditos. Cuando ya lo haya, ya hayamos eh, escuchado, vamos a poner todos el, eh, el mute del te, de, de sus computadoras o de sus teléfonos para que todos podamos escuchar tranquilamente, ¿ok? Tengan su eh, cuaderno a la mano, a dónde apuntar, porque después lo vamos a utilizar para trabajar en grupos, right? So let's start. We have the future with be going to and a conversation. Vamos a ver la primera parte del video. No se, no se olviden que de este lado están las partes de la, eh, como transcript o the transcription, el script del video, para que ustedes lo vayan viendo si no entienden toda la parte de acá. Ok, veamos. In this class you learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using... ¿Podemos escuchar ahí? Yes, teacher. Sí, ok, yes. very good. Yes, teacher. Very good, very good. So remember that what we're doing right now is that we are trying to practice this objective. William, can you help me out with this objective? Teacher, I can see the, the letters because it's kind of, okay. Like this? Yes, it's okay. okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes or no question using be going to. Uh, additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthdays plans this conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a really life setting. Okay, very good. So we're going to see real life situations. Situaciones que se hagan en la vida real con este video. Okay. Eh, necesito que pongan atención. 
right? So let's see what happens. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to. To talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. Okay, okay. So we have the first part is a conversation, right? So with this conversation that we have here, we have a conversation between Angie and Philip. Happy birthday. Okay. Teacher. Yes. La, la, las letras se ven borrosas. Eh, pero se, todos las ven borrosas. Sí, se sí. Ven. Ahora se ven bien. Ahorita se no. Ven mejor. Sí, es que a veces a, a pongo un poquito más grande la pantalla, pero quizás Ahora será sí. el internet, fíjense. Ya vengo. Vaya y regrese. Entonces. <laughs> We're going to practice the conversation right now, right? Eh, cuando ustedes vean este tipo de conversaciones en los videos, el propósito de la conversación no solamente que le escuchen. Ese es one part. That's one part. The second part of the conversation is that you practice the conversation and that you imitate the sounds of the conversation, right? So if it says uh, there, Angie, right? are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? You practice the conversation. Right. Tenemos que practicar la conversación, tenemos que imitar los sonidos, la pronunciación. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. yes. We need to imitate the sounds, right? Eso es lo importante. Entonces vamos a practicar hoy, right, with this conversation, right? We're going to practice two or three minutes and then we're going to come back, right? We're going to practice in pairs. Right, this conversation. Okay. So let me see here. Primero voy a armar los grupos y luego se lo eh, vamos a, a trabajar en parejas. Dos minutos, no más de eso. So let's see here. Give me a second. En estos momentos estoy enviándoles esa conversación como un screenshot a su WhatsApp para que lo tengan y lo puedan practicar todos. Give me a second. Che, yes. yo, yo no, no tengo el grupo todavía. No lo tiene. Entonces, eh, va a tener que practicarlo con su compañero porque pueden compartir pantalla cuando están en el breakout room. Ayer estaban compartiendo pantalla, sí. entonces lo puede practicar con el que lo tenga. Entonces vamos a tener two groups. We're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we are. Teacher. Yes? 
eh, con el link del grupo, yo creo que se lo mandaron al correo. Si el compañero comparte el nombre, se le puede compartir también el link para que ingrese. Sí, pero lo vamos a hacer quizás eh, después de la clase para no perder mucho tiempo, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de resolver esos issues después para que no perdamos tiempo eh, de la clase y vamos a tratar de que eso esté resuelto mañana, de verdad, ¿ok? Entonces voy a pasar por cada uno ahorita, por cada uno de los rooms. Unámonos a los grupos, por favor. Les clic en yes, please. Unámonos. Vale, unámonos al grupo, por favor. Vale, Peña. Where are they? There Okay. Fabulous. Uh, when is when is your birthday? Excite exacting. Mm -hmm. um, Ida? Um, it's it's a good night Sunday. Ok, very good. Keep practicing. Sigan practicando, por favor. Keep practicing. Ok, so, Mayra. Mm -hmm. Ok, so what are you planning? Tú eres Philip. Yo soy, yo soy Angie. Bye. Um, well... I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August night, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me up for dinner going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And he will wait. I know it's not a lot of information. Wait. Are you going to sing? Have a great day. ¿Cuál es la que quiere pronunciar? Uh -huh. Ay, eso que dice el último de Philips, que dice waiter, waiters. Waiter, ok. Vamos a pronunciar waiter. así. Primero, wait, 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 wait and then wait. waiter. 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 Exactly, very good. Otra yeah, vez. And Again. Waiter. Uh -huh. Waiter. Yes, ahora diga toda la oración. Yeah, and anti waiter uh -huh. are probably. Mm -hmm. Going to sing Happy Birthday to me. It's so um, <laughs> by, no. embarrassing. Uh -huh. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Como que, oh my God, no. Right. Embarrassing. Cuando algo es bien penoso. Así. Okay. Ah, super. Embarrassing. Yes, Samuel. Hello, Samuel. No le escuché nada. Ok. Samuel, you are practicing right now with Boris, right? With the conversation. ¿Qué es la conversación? No le escuché nada al compañero. Boris. Hola. Ok. You need to practice Boris and Samuel the conversation. Okay. Okay, so I need you to practice. Necesitan practicar para que estén todos ahí 
eh, practicando y viendo la pronunciación. Nos vamos a ir de este, de este break up room en dos minutos para ir a practice, ¿ok? ¿Tienen la conversación? Ok, very good. Very good. Keep practicing, please. Lo voy a dejar un ratito, voy a ir con otro grupo. Hi, Fernando. Hi. ¿Por qué estás solo, Fernando? I know no have classroom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why, why you don't have a classmate? Yo creo que fue la compañera que se salió. Se salió a... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm going to send you with another group, okay? Okay. Lo voy a unir con otro grupo. Give me a second, okay? Acá estoy viendo que este está solito. Lo voy a mandar con el grupo número tres, with group number three, para que no esté solo, okay? Ah, es que tengo do ah, dos chicos que se me han ido. Voy a mandar a break and brew number two. Dígales que yo lo mandé a practicar. for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It is so embarrassing. Okay. Va a cambiar. Ah, okay. Este número. Ya están regresando. Ok. Gusto. Hi. Igual. Hi, teacher. Hi, so we practice, yes? Hi. Yes. Ok, yes. very good. So I'm going to have, I need two people. One Angie and I need one Philip. So you can reproduce the, the conversation. You can practice the conversation. Who, who wants to be Angie? Marielo Ferrer. Marielo, okay, and okay. William. Okay, very good. Marielo and William, very good. So, wait a second. I'm going to put the conversation on the screen. Okay. So everyone can see it. And let's start. Okay. Are okay. you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Hey, Willis. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, very good. Give them an applause. Very good. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank well you, done. Very good. Thank you. Now, the purpose of the practice is to practice a lot, right? Is to, to practice the pronunciation. En cada uno de los grupos en los que estaba solo no puedo ir a un grupo por el tiempo, pero en cada uno de los grupos tenemos que ir practicando. Uno está, no, no puedo, auxilio, right? But you have to practice. Lo que le salga ahorita, acuérdense, somos principiantes tres, right? Aflijámonos que estemos en avanzado y no podamos decir la conversación. Pero de lo contrario, principiante tres, we can ask, you can, uh, for example, Samuel, ask for help, pide ayuda, igual Fernando, so you don't have to worry, ok? Tienen que pedir ayuda si no pueden la pronunciación y lo que salga, right? Si no sabemos la pronunciación, tratemos de pronunciar lo que recordamos o lo que creemos que es correcto, right? That's what we're going to do. Now, with this class, Right. We're working with be going to. Right. Esa es la segunda parte. Ya vimos la parte de la, de la conversación. Super nice. But then, right, in the video, right, in the video, we have a conversation. Right. And we have examples. Right. There is a formula that we need to follow. Do you remember the formula that the professor was given? Yes. Be going to? Okay, what is the formula? 
What is the formula? Subject. Verb mm -hmm. to be. Verb be. Okay. Verb to be. What else? What else? Must going to. Plus going to. Plus. Verb. Plus verb. Plus what? Complement. Plus complement. Very good. Nice. Nice. So that's what we're going to do right now. With be going to. We have here, this is what they show us. Esta es la parte de gramática, right? We have be going to, right? Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. This is the positive form, like the affirmative form of going to. And going to is used for future. Vamos a utilizarlo para el futuro, pero no el futuro inmediato sino que el futuro que está planificado, right? For example, un futuro que está planificado in my life for Sylvia, right? Para mí, is that Sylvia subject is, where to be, going to teach English, English tomorrow. Right? Ya tengo ahí mentalizados. Plan that I'm going to teach tomorrow English, right? At 9 p.m. Es un futuro que ya está planeado. What are you going to do tomorrow, for example? ¿Cuál sería otro ejemplo? Estamos utilizando el going to para el futuro que está planeado, planificado, no para un futuro inmediato, porque para el futuro inmediato necesitamos otro, otra fórmula. Ahorita, ¿cuál es el truco? Que esta parte, going to, nos dice, ah, ok, entonces quiero plan es, ha planificado algo para el futuro. Right? Entonces yo planifiqué que mañana voy a dar clases de 9 a 10. Right? So, what would be your example? I'm going to work tomorrow. Mr. Cruz, okay, is going to walk tomorrow. Estamos en cuarentena, no puede, pero bueno, right? Mr. Cruz is going to walk tomorrow, right? He's going to walk where? ¿Dónde puede caminar? He's going to walk, ¿a dónde? In the street park. In the street, in the park, okay. Miren qué bonito porque le damos como más sentido a la oración. Decimos, Mr. Cruz is going to walk. Y usted se queda, okay, so no puede caminar, right? Pero si decimos, Mr. Cruz is going to work in the park, in the street, right? We're giving more information. And when you give more information, it's better, right? Si da más información, es mucho mejor, right? So very good, Mr. Cruz. So Mr. Cruz is going to walk in the park tomorrow. Another example. Let's see Fernan here. I, Fernando is going to morning mm -hmm. a.m. He's going to? Going to morning reunion. He's going to have a meeting. Okay, he's going to have a meeting. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Very good. Very good. Eight o'clock. Muy bien temprano. Okay, very good. Fernando is going to have a meeting at eight o'clock. Right? Una cosa que se me olvidó decirle. Si algún momento se me va un, una, un spelling malo, que escribe una palabra mal, me dicen inmediatamente. Okay? No se preocupe. Okay. Fernando is going to have a meeting at 8 o'clock. So, what else? Another example. One more. I am going to watch TV more, uh, tomorrow for morning. Josué right, is going to... Josué is going to watch... Is going to watch TV tomorrow morning. 
Netflix or the news? TCS. No. Okay. Right? Jose is going to watch TV tomorrow morning. So we have these three examples. Right? ¿Qué podemos ver en estos tres ejemplos? Ahorita estamos viendo solo el positive form. Solo en eso nos vamos a enfocar. ¿Qué podemos ver? Que estamos usando ver to be, going to, y este verbo. So, walk, have, watch, teach. ¿Qué otros verbos tenemos, Clarisa? ¿Qué otros verbos se puede en inglés? Mm, driver. Drive, ok. Like you have... It could drive like a bus, a coaster, right? Drive. Another verb? Cook. Drive. Cook. Okay, another one? Room. Sleep. Work. Work. Okay. Con este tipo de verbos, ¿qué es lo que vamos a poner atención? Porque a veces nos confundimos y hacemos cambios en este verbo. Este verbo de acá se va a quedar así, tal cual. Así como se lo aprendieron, drive, cook, run. Y en inglés, nosotros le decimos ver in base form, en la forma como natural del verbo. Eso es bien importante que se lo recuerde. Porque a veces decimos, por ejemplo, Fernando is going to having a meeting. Mm -mm. It's not correct, right? It's going to have a meeting. ¿Eh? Porque eso, para esta fórmula, porque en otra fórmula sí lo vamos a cambiar, pero esta fórmula de going to, be going to, así tiene que ser. Entonces, todos los verbos que nos podemos, drive, cook, run, work, drink, eat, right? Those verbs are going to stay like that, in the base form. ¿Es that clear? Entonces, verbo en, yes. la, en la forma yes. base. Eso es lo que tenemos que tener siempre acá. Okay. Right? Okay, very good. Ahora, uy, nos quedan cinco minutos, qué horror. Okay, so we have here the examples, right, for the base form. And pay attention to this, right? Vamos a abrir otra acá. Vamos a hacer algo. And then here, this is the positive form, right? But I want to make the negative form. ¿Por qué les decía que gramática es bien fácil? Miren qué fácil es. Acabamos de hacer la forma positiva. Ahora vamos a hacer la forma negativa de estas oraciones. Lo único, lo único que va a cambiar es que vamos a tener subject plus verb to be plus going to, right? Pero acá, right, en vez del going to, entre el verbo to be y el going to, vamos a agregar la palabra not. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus going to plus verb in the base form plus complement. Eso es lo único. Entonces, si seguimos esta fórmula y estamos haciendo el not, eso es lo, no le estamos cambiando, estamos agregando para hacer la forma negativa. Right? Si lo estamos agregando acá, ¿cómo puedo hacer yo? para cambiar esta oración a negativo. Silvia is going to teach English tomorrow at 9 p.m. Silvia is going to not teach English tomorrow at oh, 9 p.m. Silvia is not going Silvia to. Is Silvia not. is uh -huh. not going to teach her. Very good. It's not. English Miren, solo lo metemos acá el not en la fórmula y ya queda negativo. Yay. Ya sabemos la forma negativa. Right? So, how can I make this example, Mr. Cruz? Mr. Cruz is going to walk in the park tomorrow. Pero como es cuarentena, no puede. Tiene que ser negativo. So, Mr. Cruz, what's, what's the negative form? Mr. Cruz is not going to walk in the park tomorrow. Very good. Easy. Right? Easy. And Fernando? Very good. And the same for Josué, right? Josué va a tener que trabajar. Josué is not going to watch Netflix tomorrow. 
right? Tiene que ir a trabajar, right? So we have here three examples, well, four examples in the negative form. ¿Ya ven qué bien fácil es? Right? De la forma positiva a la forma negativa. Algo que no hemos visto y lo vamos a ver ahorita es, acá estamos utilizando solamente is. Is, is, is. Right? Pero hay otra forma del verbo to be que se nos ha olvidado. ¿Cuál es esa otra fórmula? Are. 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 Very good. Very good. Are is are. ¿Cuál es el sujeto que necesitamos si tenemos que utilizar are, William? The third person. Mm. They. They. Because third They. person. Oh, okay. Third person is he, she, and it. Right? So we need to have they. They is second person. Right? So they. We can say they are. They are what? Let's make a positive form. They are. They are going to lunch. They are going to have lunch. lunch. To have lunch. Have lunch. Mm -hmm. Together. Juntitos. Okay? They're going to have lunch together. Si yo quiero cambiarle el day, ¿qué le tendría que poner acá, Clarissa? No quiero poner day, quiero poner nombre de personas. Ah. Ellos. Ellos, ajá. Uh -huh. But in English. ¿Qué le tengo que cambiar? No quiero ponerle they, no quiero ponerle ellos, quiero ponerle los nombres de personas. ¿Qué, qué, qué ejemplo podría dar? Por ejemplo, I can Fernando, use and... Fernando and Josué. Fernando and Josué. Very good. Mm -hmm. Trabajan juntos ellos dos, entonces are going to have lunch together. Right? Very good. Yes. Right? Yeah. Fernando and Josué are going to have lunch together. Very nice. Right? And if we, if I want to say it in a negative form? Fernando and Josué not are, are not. Are not. Are not going to have lunch together. That is correct. Right? Miren que fácil en la vida. Right? Fernando and Josué are not going to have lunch together. That would be the negative form. So, We have positive and we have negative. Ahorita no hemos visto las preguntas, ni las short answers, ni las questions. Solamente hemos visto una oración normal. Simple sentence. Simple sentence with be going to. Right? That's what we have. Entonces, para mañana, ¿qué vamos a hacer? En la plataforma, todos, todos y cada uno de los veintitantos participantes de la de la conferencia, vamos a poner dos ejemplos, así como están acá. Uno positivo, one positive, and one negative. Using be going to. Pero, no pueden poner los que ya tenemos, porque eso sería trampa. Ya están. So you are going to create new examples, right? You can say, for example, what are you going to do on Sunday? I am going to go to church. Right? Or Friday, I am going to eat pupusas with my family. Right? So you create new sentences. Eso es lo que van a hacer mañana. Van a escribir dos oraciones, una positiva, una negativa, en la plataforma para ir trabajando. En la plataforma lo vamos a hacer acá, debajo del video. Right? Where it says add a post, then it's when you're going to write your examples. ¿Está claro es, esa indicación? Uh -huh. yes, ¿Sí? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. Yo sé que algunos ya hicieron sus ejemplos, yes. pero entonces quiere decir que van a practicar más. Right? Now, do you have any questions? Ahorita no hemos visto no. going to, solo hemos visto la primera parte. Nos falta ver casi todo el video. Right? Y solo vamos... Dos, ¿Manda? Solo dos, ¿verdad? Una en positivo y una en negativo. Correcto. Solo esos dos. No hemos visto las preguntas y no hemos visto las respuestas. No ¿Cuántos, yet. teacher, cuántos ejemplos tenemos que poner? Two. Solo dos. Yes. Yes. Mire, two y, 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 y es en, el, en la discusión es que tenemos que escribir eso, ¿verdad? Yes, in this discussion tab, right here. Okay. What you see here, it says add a post. 
here is that when you're going to write the information, right? You click on add a pause and it will give you the, the information. You put here, be going to, right? You write your name, for example, Fernando. Right? And then you write your name, your example, right? This and this, right? Then you submit and that's it, right? Okay, okay very good. Alguna pregunta? Do you have a question? No, no. teacher. No, are you sure? Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay, very good. So tomorrow we will continue with be going to, right? I need you to watch all the sections. Si tienen preguntas específicas mañana, las hacemos y vamos a seguir practicando. Les voy a traer otras conversaciones para que las practiquemos también, ¿ok? Para que mejoremos un poquito la pronunciación, right? Se la voy a poner en el WhatsApp quizás antes de la clase para que la practiquen y la vayan viendo, ¿ok? Okay. 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 Very good. Okay. Okay. Have a beautiful night, then. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 All right.